Hello, I'm Joel Leonard. We're here for another edition of Skill TV. Uh, we're here at the Converge South the Bloggers Conference at North Carolina A&T. And this is a collection of people in the uh, internet uh, blogging. Uh, uh, they're actually trying to, to use some of these new technologies and new tools to get the word out about their individual issues. And these are kind of like citizen journalists and broadcasters. And we happen to have one of the most famous uh, uh, resources in the sector who created some pathways and uh, broke down some barriers for corporate communication and blogging. And Robert Scoville, who was our moderator and our discussion leader today on how to use video editing. So we're, we're here today, and he's going to uh, share with me some of his ideas and perspectives and what he sees with some of the people from the in, in Silicon Valley and throughout the world that are really innovators and, and using some of these technologies to advance communication, advance the and advance uh, our whole communication stuff. So we'll start in a few minutes. All right, uh, again, we're here at, uh, having a live discussion with Robert Scoble, who's, uh, again, one of my heroes and has really done some neat things and, and uh, get into the corporate world and loosen up a little bit and uh, break down some, some of the barriers and stodginess and open up to some new processes. Now, you don't know who I am. I, I kind of talked a little bit about Skill TV. What we're trying to do, Robert, is we're trying to preserve our future work. So we have so many kids that are moving into some of these technologies and some of these jobs and some of the things that we see on TV, but they don't really get into doing a lot of the skill trades and analysis. And a lot of the technology now got into some of those jobs, the PLCs and automation and some of the technology. So we've got to reach out and get some of that in the world that you really communicate on a day-to-day basis and get them into our world, which is the electronics, mechanics, and all those things to get that going. And I like your idea. I mean, you've got some great ways of getting video and getting other things. What other suggestions that you have for me to get the, the, the future techies to be engaged into some of the old technologies of electronic mechanics and, and those kind of systems? And get excited about doing that kind of work in addition to some of the advanced technologies. That's, that's a tough one because our education system is totally, you know, I used to have a metal shop and wood shop in my high school. Yeah. Those don't happen anymore in our, in our schools. Certainly not in school. So as we've abandoned those technologies were literally at risk. Yeah. Yeah. And it would be the combination, you know, it would be interesting to have a computer and a metal shop together, right? And talk about how do you automate some of the stuff you're learning, you know, and how do you automate a robot to do your work, you know, and, and that's where it would be uh, interesting. Some of it's also field trips, and being, you know, video game, like I visited an almond plant which had a lot of PLCs to do various Things. You have to sort them out. Yeah, get the kids to actually see the technology that's being used and not just realize they call it a factory. It's not a dark and dirty, thirsty, dirty and dusty place. It's actually a, a very interesting place with a lot of technology. So you're encouraging field trips, interaction. Uh, involvement, participation. In yeah, but it's hard to go to a field trip uh, to an almond factory in the middle of California. Well, yeah. post 911 and also experimental with slips and all the other things. And yeah, that's why I love this new TV show, How It's Made, and some of these upper channel uh, uh, things on the cable networks and the uh, Discovery Channel and these other programs. And again, I. Uh, uh, delighted to see you on the, on Big Idea and, and, and some of these other programs. If we can get more of our kids to start thinking about those things in those kind of contexts, that's why I hope to get on Big Idea someday and get more of a, open that dialogue and that discussion and say, hey, you know, Joe the Plumber, yeah, this guy has a real opportunity of making two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. And uh, so we, we've got to get our kids to realize that those opportunities are there or our whole infrastructure is going to paralyze and we won't be able to do these great things on video or have the network just be established, right? No, nope, and you're going to lose more of those jobs over in China. Well, in a lot of these jobs, we can't ship overseas because you can't order Chinese guy to come over here and fix your, uh, your, your plumbing system or your electric system or your electronic system. We have to do that in that. So we, we've got to upgrade that and engage in that technology. So again, I thank you for your time. Thanks. Thank you I think it comes down to the education system. I, you know, I, I'm sensing there's a revolution in education. You know, it might be because of the new cell phones that are coming out that are always connected. Fairly low cost. And the cost will come down over the next 10 years, which will be a lot more people in.
And it's cool to have a cell phone, right? It's not cool to carry a book. Yeah, yeah. And uh, awesome book, it's very cold and very old. Cell phone, you know, if you're learning plumbing, you can have videos, you can have uh, chats with people, you can have interactivity, which keeps the newer kids much more engaged in uh, learning. Yeah, it's hard to call these old these cell phones now cell phones. I mean, they've got so much more capacity to them than what they used to have. And being able to, to again, to start creating them. So I would probably start hooking up to some of the more innovative teachers who are trying to use like, the videos in the classroom. Because, yeah, you can have a uh, guy who runs an album factory go and take a little video and explain how to use the PLC on the factory and get your know? That's literally, that's the whole thing. You can't get a class from Detroit out to a, yeah, a that, factory. Yeah, that's why we, we've got Skill TVs to be that gateway. So thank you again. Thanks.